What is up guys, it is Franklin from Do Humor and I got an Unchained post September 2020 Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list and um, yeah, really awesome deck, um, I really did a lot of changes from the last one and I kind of incorporated the uh, part of extravagance type build, I love stunning my opponent so it's a very stun based deck and it's actually very fitting for the Unchained archetype. Uh, so if you guys are ready to Hakai your opponents, um, let's uh, get started with this uh, deck profile. So, we're going to start off with uh, three. Unchain Aurora. Um, yes, gorgeous. Uh, Starlight Rares. When I love a deck, I go all out for it. So, I definitely bought the <laughs> Starlights. Um, before I spiked, thank God. But it's there. So, three Unchain Aurora. Really good card. Uh, starter card, pop your uh, unchain spell and trap. Uh, well, unchain traps in this case. There, we know you run the much spells except for the search one, but um, you get special summon it and then the spell or traps special summon another unchained card, so you get an instant link too, which is awesome. Then we do play three Rekia. Rekia is really good too. This is a quick, qu uh, quick effect pop. Um, so she's a good starter card as well with the spawn and traps or any other um, Unchained monster uh, like a Rua. so really good and uh, They all have the effect that when they're destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon another Unchained from your deck So it's really awesome We do play two Sur Surama so Surama is a good card um, I have been thinking about putting it back to three because there's times where you need the uh, you're in like the mid game and this king this deck can grind out and uh, she's basically uh, can get you a link to right away by popping a spell trap or popping another unchained card and uh, she's really versatile in that way so probably going back to, to three um, so yeah keep that in mind. We do play two Unchained Soul Disasters, and this is probably the card I would put to one to add the Sarama. And my theory behind it was to play two because there are times where um, you want to see this card, um, like in your deck, um, but it doesn't come up as often. That's like really late game, and there's a lot of times where we could just recycle it, just like with Sarama itself. And um, you know, pop it, and then you can just get a link to right off the bat from your graveyard. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I also do play the um, dimensional shifter, so that was another reasoning to play it at two. However, uh, nine, nine times out of ten, you know, you'll just play avoid it with dimensional shifter by just setting your cards and um, you know, comboing off the next turn. Because Dimensional Shifter is more of just to mess up your opponent so that you can just set up. This is a going second build. You can go first, but going second is probably the most preferred way for this deck. So, two. And then we also play Unbominable Unchained Soul. Really good card. Um, going second because it can pop a card. Uh, it's good going in your hand. It's OTK enabler because any spell, any Unchained card that gets destroyed, you just special summon it, includes the spawn traps. It's a really good card, 3,000 attack, and it's needed for the links. Now, on to the Kaiju for the Dragoon. We do play uh, 3 Raiden. Raiden's probably the best Kaiju in this deck because it's a Fiend, and Arua locks you into Fiends upon Special Summon from that effect, from its a pop effect. So, it's really good. It could out uh, Dragoon's it outs a lot of problematic cards. And uh, it's a 2800 beater, so really amazing card, if you know what I mean. Then we do play the one, the Pranka Tops, or as I call him, Baraka, you know. <laughs> you get that reference, uh, type it in the comments section below. <laughs> so if you get that reference of where that's from. Uh, Baraka and Raiden, guys. Uh, so yeah, one Baraka. A really good card. Special summons pops anything. Uh, 26 beater and uh, free uh, link climber at worst. So awesome. Time for the hand traps. Uh, everyone's favorite part of a deck profile, right? <laughs> so three ash. Still play ash. I like it. Uh, you could play ghost ogre if you uh, prefer, but I still like ash for those rogue matches, and it does come up in meta decks. Um, so yeah. 
Now for the best hand trap of the format, three Gammas. Uh, Gamma is a really good card. Um, really good, especially in going second decks. Just stop your opponents from uh, playing, and it can really stop a lot of the meta decks um, on its feet right away. So I like it. Uh, pretty hard to out. Um, and now that Call by the Graves at one, it's even harder <laughs> for people to find ways to out cards like hand traps like this. Um, they would have to play Ash to uh, beat Gamma basically, so or Gamma the Gamma, which is uh, has happened <laughs> in rare incident instances. And we also play uh, one Driver because you have to play the Brick uh, with the Gamma. Now we do play three uh, Dimensional Shifter. I love Dimensional Shifter. Um, it's just literally a pass turn for a lot of decks. This format, a lot of decks revolve around graveyard, eldritch, dinosaurs, um, infernobles. Uh, there's a lot of decks that really can't play with this. Even um, to a certain extent, Dogmatica. So it's really good. Um, really amazing cards. A pass turns a lot of decks. So I play it. Obviously, after turn one, it's not It's not really good. However, uh, the advantage it nets you if you have it in the first five cards is just incredible. And at worst, it's just discard father for souls. So, yeah. Now, on to the spells. We do play three extraps, a free plus two. Uh, the deck really needs this. You do want to play Pot of Desires because you don't want to banish your one ofs. And you don't want to play Pot of Desires also because you would have to play more of your bricks. So, that's why I converted to extravagances. Now we do play Abomination Prison, and this is the search card, it also is a special summon if they pop it, so it's a really interesting card. Uh, you see this, you basically win because you get your full combo, um, so it's really nice. Then we play the last hand trap, I swear, of uh, Infinite Impermanence, 3 of, really good card. Um, yeah, definitely play it, it's just... Easy pluses, more disruptions, and this deck it really revolves around uh, disrupting your opponent. Then we also play three Abomination Chamber of the Unchained, basically the Call of the Haunted for the deck. Also, pop it, it's special summons from the deck, so it's really good. Um, always want to max out on the Traps of the Unchained. Speaking of that, Escape of the Unchained, basically, uh, it's a Basically, a record key break, I think, like that type of thing. You pop your own on chain, which allows you to special summon another in chain, and you can destroy one card on the field. So it's really good. Um, it could this very versatile because it could defeat um, cards like Mystic Mind, or you know, it could beat a monster. So it's really nice. Now on to the extra deck. An extra deck is uh, really cool. We do play one Omega. Um, for the Gamma, just in case if you use it on your turn, you can just make Gamma rip another card off their hand. We do play 3 Unchained Soul of Rage, so really awesome card. We do play 3 Unchained Soul of Anguish, another good card. Uh, Rage is for your opponent's turn and it targets a special summon monster, you can just link climb uh, to another fiend monster. And then Souls is um, really good because it can link climb into another uh, dark link monster in your turn and it doesn't have to be a special summon monster it just has to be a face-up monster so it's really awesome um, then we do play a three unicorn we do play we max out on a unicorn for the extravagance um, I might cut it to two and put another one of uh, another card that I'm going to show you because it's just more versatile uh, to win games but unicorn is good so um, you know you know what it does discard a card and it uh, basically shuffles a card back into the deck now we play three unchained abomination uh, the boss monster of unchained pops like 50 times and in turn destroys everything it's really good um, 3,000 booty really good card and then uh, now we also do play the black luster soldier uh, chaos soldier as a link three and uh, you can make this card it's really good as well, it's good against Alter Guys and a lot of decks that can out um, non targetable destruction cards. So, awesome card in that instance. And last but not least, the card I would max out I put at two would be Access Code Talker. Um, really a good card with him and the Unchained Souls. Uh, make OTK because this is up to 53. Unchained Souls is at 3000. That's 83. You pop everything and just attack directly with Access Code and Unchained Souls and win the game. Really good card, 
Um, definitely, definitely, I love it. It's really good. And when you're not locked into Fiends, you usually go for this card to OTK. And that is it for the deck. Side deck is uh, obviously for up to locals and your budget. However, you could play cards like uh, Lightning Storm, uh, Twin Twisters, uh, Evenly Match, Nibiru, cards like that um, that help out Cosmics as well. You know, a, a lot of cards, Forbidden Droplets, you know, a Dark Roller No More. There's plenty of cards you could play. Even uh, some of them, it's decent in this deck because uh, not a lot of people play back row, back row hate against this deck. So, you know, um, it's really good. It's a fun deck. Um, somewhat expensive because of the hand traps, but uh, really fun, really good, and can, can beat against meta decks as well. And if you guys are going to thinking about purchasing any of these cards, please use my TCG affiliate link. If you guys are definitely purchasing a Starlight Rare like me, please use that TCG affiliate link. It does help out the channel and um, it uh, gives back to, to us and helps us build more epic decks for you guys to showcase. So as make more one-to-ones and stuff like that. It gives us motivation, uh, which, um, you know, we really, uh, we really love and we really want to see from you guys. Thank you for watching this uh, video and subscribing to the channel um, and liking this video as well. Franklin from Do Humor, out. Peace, guys.